Welcome to part 10 of Persona 4. Man, that boss was pathetic. Oh, it's gonna take I... I... Yosuke, are you okay? I think he's alright. Yeah. What Not happened? Not me! Yosuke. That thing came from you, Yosuke. Yeah. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. They hurt me. Yosuke is seeing have to be brave. Brave. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. Oh, it's all right. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Yeah, be that golf club. We killed some dudes. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Yeah. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. you know, Damn it! Everything. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. 
They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save yeah. people. Let's do it. Let's kill the shadows. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Yes. Like how you guys just saved me? Yeah, we're gonna buy golf clubs. But still, we need a golf club. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Oh, you too. Uh, um, can I ask something too? Sure, what is it, Teddy? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? You keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else. But then, you won't end up here. Yeah. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then, you'd be doomed. Well, yeah. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Well, pretty much. Alright, can you show us the way out? Roger that! One exit, coming right up! to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! What are you doing, Ken? Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... We got a here. Hi, Taro. Cheer. We had this most <laughs> excellent adventure. I killed Yosuke Shadow. You guys came back! Oh, what's wrong? Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Oh, no! Ow! The nerve of you guys! You are such morons! Yeah. I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off, and I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. I mean, scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! You don't hate me. Oh, you love us. You know you love I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Oh, good luck to that. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Oh, not really. I mean, you do work in um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Yeah, yeah, I, I kinda like it. 
Okay, there. Right. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Yeah, but that's... I've right. never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, yeah, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, well, so... Uh, we did kind of have a little scuffle. But, yeah, we're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Whoa. Bad girl, bad girl. What you doing? Oh, I what should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Ooh, that's good. Any um, good? I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Bye, you kill. I'll see you then. That was a good, good first move. Yeah. You know, homework. Dad's go. late. He's always late, isn't he? Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. Oh, so the coroner's know. report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Yes. No, Dad no, won't no. be coming home tonight. I'm, I'll be here with you, Nana. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Yeah, could you just send corner? Nanako seems to be very... Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Whoa. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Damn. Pretty big responsibility for her. Middle gear. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Damn, paparazzo. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. I know, right? Huh? No, um... The reporter family goes further and further. This is boring. I agree, Nanako. This is boring. Let's watch Feather. Oh, Man, I need to do the dishes. All right. Wait, what dishes? There's only like two glasses. You said help Nanako out with the housework. Cause I'm cool like that. Yeah. So let's try to go to the menu. Oh, by the way, um, yeah. After this episode, you'll notice I'm different. I'm not saying what, I'm just saying it'll make it easier for a, a, an event later in the game, but let's take a look at our persona. But more importantly, you also get, ooh, he's got the Gar skill, so he's gonna be our one persona. Good for you. He's pretty good. See you in part 11.